What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking you out to my favorite store to actually buy fishing bait and that is Walmart. So heading out to the old Wally world, we're going to try to see what Walmart has to offer. And if you've never really shopped at Walmart for fishing stuff, you know, you might not know what's actually out there. So with this channel being kind of targeted towards some of the beginner anglers out there and actually just learning what is actually out there, guys, hopefully this will show you kind of what you can expect from Walmart. And the thing I love about Walmart is everybody has a Walmart close to them. And I know depending on location, you might not have some of the stuff that this one's going to have. This is a very rural area in uh, Southwest Missouri. So it, it does have a lot of stuff. So, uh, but that's good. That shows you exactly what is out there. And if your local Walmart doesn't have some of the stuff, you can go on walmart.com and actually order maybe some of the stuff this store actually has. All right, guys, let's dive into this. Let's walk in. Let's head back to that sporting goods section and show you what there is out there. All right, guys, if you like this kind of content, I know the Walmart videos are kind of a big hit. And I know a lot of you guys like the Walmart hunting gear selection video that I had out there. Uh, please go ahead and like this. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. And let's get going. As we're heading in here at like six o'clock, it's super early this morning mainly because I have to go to work, but also because there's nobody in here. So that sporting goods section should be pretty open and we can give you guys a good rundown of what they have. So when you see the rod, you know you're getting close. So we'll start out, we'll go over here on the main section. All right, so we're here. When you first start down the aisle here, they have a lot of the kids combos and stuff. My daughter, she loves going through and picking these out. Because, uh, you know, they're just kind of big hit. They got some of the Disney characters and stuff on them. But when it comes to an adult, I would kind of stay away from some of these smaller spin cast rods and some of these spinning combos they have. They're just not going to hold up for the long term. And they really don't have enough backbone to actually catch a lot of fish. They're going to be great for going out and catching panfish for kids and stuff like that. Uh, which they have a pretty good little selection of different little kits. Um, that if you don't want to build all your stuff up. You can just kind of get one of these kits for going out catching catfish or panfish, trout, different things. They're going to kind of have that for you. Uh, but yeah, not a very good selection when it comes to high quality stuff here. Uh, but this would get the job done if you were just going to go out and catch some panfish. I would say the very first rod that I would actually use if I was going to be bass fishing that's right here is this Mike Iaconelli Abu Garcia rod. It's pretty cool. They have the spinning combo and the bait caster combo. And the baitcaster is even set up for a beginner. It has that little switch up there where you can kind of, it kind of helps you cast the rod a little bit easier. But that's a pretty good little rod right there. I've actually used this in the past and it does catch fish and it does a pretty good job doing it. Other than that, I would say if you're gonna look for a spin cast rod for your kid, my daughter actually has one of these Zebcos right here. It's a pretty high quality combo and the real is pretty nice on it for a spin cast combo. She's actually pulled some pretty good fish in with this and it does cast very easy. So if you're looking to get your kid out there to actually learn how to cast a fishing rod, that one is gonna do it really well. Uh, moving on down, this one is pretty good too, the Zebco Roam. Uh, my daughter also has one of those and she enjoys fishing that one pretty good as well. Uh, moving on down, they got some of the bigger catfish rods. This is actually really good. I've used that in the past too. The big Zebco Boss Hog. That thing will cast a country mile and it does really, really good on the catfish. Okay, moving on down here, we have some smaller combos here for catching crappie and some panfish. Pretty good little offerings here and they're only around 20, 23 bucks, 26 bucks. Crappie rods here. Um, looking at this Ugly Stick GX2, we'll do a review on that one. I do have this ultralight version like this. Uh, it's 50 bucks and it's a pretty good little rod for, you know, catching trout, panfish, things like that. And uh, it's bulletproof, man. You can't go wrong with an ugly stick. Okay, moving into some of these other spinning combos here. This is only 20 bucks, so I mean, it would do the job. But one thing you want to look at with a budget combo is kind of how stiff the rod is. It might say it's a medium power rod, but it'll be a super flimsy rod that if you go to set the hook, it's really not gonna set the hook because it just gives way too much. So that's one thing to check. 
that uh, you know, if you're getting a budget combo at Walmart, definitely make sure the rod is stiff enough to actually set the hook on a fish. So this one is pretty good. And for 20 bucks, I think I could go out and actually fish this halfway decent. And that is a Motzu or Motzau. I don't even know how you say it. Uh, got a little Cirrus by, Sa by Shakespeare right here, 26 bucks. Uh, looks, well, it doesn't look too bad. This Lou's Hank Parker, 29 bucks. Pretty good little rod here. You know, it's got enough backbone to actually set the hook on a fish. The reel, eh, it's gonna get the job done. And it's already pre-spooled up with some mono. So we could literally take this out and just fish it right out of the, the store here. I am six rod blank, yeah, 30 bucks. I think I could fish it. We actually might get that one of these days and actually do a little fishing challenge. Uh, I did my expensive spinning combo versus the budget combo video. Last summer, I actually used this Shakespeare Cirrus rod. Uh, didn't do the greatest, but you know, it did hold up pretty well. It is a very solid rod, but the rod is a little bit uh, flimsy to actually set the hook very well. And I was just using small Ned rigs and kind of had a, a difficult time doing that. 31 bucks, having, this is a pretty nice little spinning combo, looks like, it's not too bad. Uh, moving down here, this is a nice little offering by Daiwa. Pretty cool little reel. I haven't actually never seen this one before in here. Uh, but these rods, let's see, doesn't specify, but this is, this has got to be an ultralight. Yeah, a little bit too, uh, too flimsy for actual bass fishing, but panfish, trout do pretty well. Uh, when it comes to the Black Max by Abu Garcia, this is an awesome spinning combo. So check out my review of the bait cast combo. And in that video, you know, I say that this is the best selling bait caster combo of all time. The spinning combo, I don't think it's up there is high, but this spinning combo does have a really nice grip on it. I like the, the grip right there. It kind of fills out the palm and it's a really good offering by Abu Garcia. It's a kind of a, a rock solid bulletproof combo. The rod has enough power to set the, the hook on a fish really good. Uh, moving over to what I think might be the best spinning combo that Walmart has, that and the Quantum Throttle, that is gonna be this Ugly Stick GX2. I fish this quite a bit too. This does an awesome job of setting the hook on fish and it just has all the bells and whistles that you need and it doesn't have all the flair that some of these other rods have. Uh, but the rod guides on this are just solid metal. They're rolled out, it's one piece. You don't have to worry about your inserts falling out. And this rod does have plenty of backbone to set the hook on a fish. So that ugly stick would probably be up there at my favorite spinning combo in Walmart. All right here we have the Laser Pro by Luz. Once again, another really good combo. And I think it has 10 bearings. Yeah, 10 bearing system, that's crazy. Braid, braid ready spool. It's IM6 rod blank, one piece rod, very good offering. That is 54 bucks. This might be, you know, one of the best below $60 combos that you can actually get. Going on down, we have the Ozark Trail, they updated some of their, their rods and stuff. Nice little cork pattern on the knob right there. I kind of like the chalk gray pattern on the reel. Not a huge fan of the EVA foam that has a cork pattern on it. it does look like the reel seat here has the same pattern as the Quantum Throttle 2. This is an IM7 rod blank. Dang, way to go, Ozark Trail. That's a pretty cool rod. For 50 bucks, that ain't bad. I would still probably feel comfortable getting that ugly stick over this Ozark Trail, but not bad. Okay, you're up here. I want to show you these for sure. So the Xfinity by Luz used to look like this. And that's what they've had for several years. And check out my re review on it. I have the green one. It's literally the same thing though. Um, but this is the new version. So these are literally the same price, 68 bucks. 
68 bucks. So I would definitely go with this one. It looks a lot better. I like the patterns on the, the handles here. Has the wind grip on the knobs. Super high quality here. If you're looking for a 3000 size reel, it does come braid ready. That spool is braid ready. So that is one cool thing that this rod has. And it is a medium power rod that is actually a medium power rod. So that's a pretty cool offering. We'll definitely look at picking one of those up. Now Abu Garcia has a pretty decent one too. This is a little bit more expensive, 86 bucks. And I don't quite like this one as good. And I am a Abu Garcia fanboy. Well, I am for lose too, but this rod is actually nice. I like the rod, but it's the reel that I'm not a super big fan of. Uh, this one isn't braid ready. You would have to kind of make modifications. The knob is, is pretty cool though. Um, the power of the rod, is it's gonna be stiff enough to do most of your fishing applications. It's not bad. I like the color scheme on it. It has that nice looking uh, camo color on the rod. And it's got this nice rubberized grip. That is kind of what they have from Abu Garcia. Just realized uh, Lunker Hunt actually came out with these. Huh. First time I've seen these here, 80 bucks. Pretty cool looking rod. It does have those dry tack grips. I don't think it's an actual wind grip. It looks like a proprietary one that they've come up with, but a pretty cool rod. Actually is a medium power. Nice looking reel here. So another little offering there. If you're looking for a spinning combo, we haven't really got down to the bait casters yet. We're gonna get there. Uh, if you're looking for catfish rods, they do have some bigger rods here. I do have that one right there. Uh, the, the Shakespeare Tiger, oh, it's only 20 bucks. I've had that thing for years and it still works fantastic. 37 bucks, you can get a little Berkeley there. Looks a little bit more beefy. We have an Ozark Trail grit stick. I think it's huge. It doesn't have a price tag on it. I'd, I'd say no more than probably 30 or 40 bucks. Freaking massive Zepco. Wow, that thing is huge. It's like a deep sea rod almost. We got some more uh, Ozark Trail stuff here. Pretty cool color scheme on these. I like that flat chalk gray. Not a bad little little rod right here. Doesn't have a price tag. Rod is pretty cool. Nice little color scheme. I would say this one's probably only 20, 25 bucks. Uh, moving into the bait casters. Looks like they did have a Black Max right here. Maybe we can find one on down but looks like they're kind of sold out. Uh, here's an ugly stick GX2 back here. So with the bait caster for the ugly stick, the rod is pretty good. Once again, that's kind of like how it was with the spinning combo, but the reel is kind of garbage. So I'd kind of scrap this combo. I wouldn't really get it. It's gonna get the job done, but the reel is really crappy. I'd look to replace that one. Uh, for 66 bucks, we have a nice little Lose combo here, the Lose Classic. That's pretty nice. 66 bucks, I think this could get the job done. Just kind of have a basic rod, kind of like the Black Max has. Looks exactly like the Black Max. But nice little standard speed spool reel. I think I could go out and catch fish with that. Uh, we got a this Ozark Trail, oh, it's real tree. That's pretty cool. Kind of has that cork pattern to it. Yeah. Oh, it does have the audible clicks like that. Yeah, that's 75 bucks. Pretty cool little bait caster. Seven three to one gear ratio. 
Line guides are pretty small, pretty nice. Uh, here's a really nice one, the laser speed spool, just kind of like the uh, spinning combo. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. I like the color patterns too. Laser Pro. Yeah, 80 bucks, I know that's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's a little bit better rod. All right, we got the new Xfinity ones here. Yeah, these, these look really cool. I know these were a big hit uh, with the first generation ones. It's a nice little reel, really small. Fits in the hand, nice. Really nice Xfinity win knobs right here. Just overall a really good looking rod. Very nice reel seat. Yeah, and I think these are, I think 97 bucks. They don't have the Shimano Kaius which is also a really, really good rod. Um, but I think they're about the same price. All right, they got the old Revo X, which you saw me fish this quite a bit. Very high quality rod. Usually this is around 125 bucks. Super high quality. This is probably the highest quality one in Walmart. Does have the 30 ton rod blank. It has all the features on your reel that you know, you get out a super high quality combo. But yeah, you can't go wrong with the Revo X by Abu Garcia. Okay, another favorite offering I have from Walmart is this Quantum Throttle 2, super high quality. Uh, it's just kind of like the Shakespeare Ugly Stick. This is probably the highest quality spinning combo that they actually have, 11 bearings, all metal aluminum frame construction on the reel just a very high quality rod definitely watch some of my videos i fish this a lot and then they have some of these cheaper little ultralight combos here these aren't that bad and then these flugers are pretty cool if you're looking for a new trout rod okay let's see what they have as far as baits go so i know that's one of the biggest reasons i come to walmart is actually to see the baits so Ozark Trail, if you're looking to just get out and try new baits, Ozark Trail has a lot of stuff here. They get a lot of these curly tail worms. They got some creature baits, this hog hammer. Uh, they got a bunch of different curly tail worms. Lizards with their lunker lizards. These are pretty cool. I've actually caught some fish on these. They got some shiner shads. They got some more creature baits. They got swim baits down here. Pretty cool little selection. And at Walmart, they always have these bins at the bottom where you can find kind of bulk baits. They got the bass kits here. They got the crawl kits, all kinds of stuff to get you kind of started. So definitely look through all that stuff, find some cool stuff. When it comes to zoom, they have a pretty good uh, zoom selection here. So if you're looking at lizards, you're looking at curly tail worms, you're looking at swim baits, they kind of have a lot of different stuff. Got trick worms down there at the bottom. I love fishing a zoom trick worm. Very effective bait. Got some uh, frogs up here. If you're looking at soft plastic frogs. Got some more paddle tail swim baits. Oh, these are good right here. Little finesse worms. Good little worm right there for a drop shot. Or just a regular Texas rig. These brush hogs are really cool. You got some more of these kits down at the bottom. So you can find some of the bulk plastics down here. Yum has a lot of stuff down there usually. And they're pretty cheap, you know, like 223 SE. So no more than probably three bucks for a pack of soft plastics there. Uh, the yum stuff I do like. I like to fish the yum crawls, the critzy crawls. And then also the yum dingers. So for smallmouth, I like these a smaller four inch yum dingers. And then for largemouth bass, you can go up to these five inch yum Senkos. So these Senkos are all really, really good. And they have their other crawl bugs. These are the hollow crawls. But I usually buy my Senkos from this section. Usually they are yum. I used to get the Gary Yamamoto's, but then I moved over to the yums. They're just a lot cheaper and I you know, they caught just as many fish on them. Looking at the Ned rigs, I love Ned rigs. They don't actually sell the type of jig heads that I run, the new Ned locks, extra wide gap hook, uh, finesse jig head. 
but these are just the old standard ones that actually stick out. You cannot fish these weedless. That's where I don't like them. So I just order them off of Academy's website or Bass Pro, but they do have the TRDs or the old turd bait. These are the PB and J's. These work awesome on smallmouth. And they got all these different crawls. So that's the cool thing about the Ned rig. And we're going to do a video on the Ned rig and how versatile I think the Ned rig is. Could be the most versatile smallmouth bait of all time. And I've caught a lot of largemouth on the Ned rig. I just love a Ned rig. They work really well. But down here, we got some of these uh, kits. You get your mystery tackle boxes. You got your Mondo kit from Guggen Squad. You got your Strike King hard bait kit. Some little kits uh, that if you're new to bass fishing and you're looking to see what there is out there and just kind of have a little cool factor where they're going to send you something every month, you know, maybe try one of these at Walmart. And then if you like that kind of stuff, you can just subscribe to one of these and, you know, you're going to get a new box every single month. They do have some Guggen baits at this one. We have some of their crawls, the Kraken crawl. So pretty good little offer in here. You got some of their uh, Bandito bugs. So those are all nice baits as well. Uh, when it comes to uh, net bait, they got a lot of the crawl pattern stuff. Pretty cool there. Uh, they do have Strike King tubes. And you know, I love fishing a tube. It is my number one smallmouth bait that I fish. But these are actually a little bit too, too small for what I, I fish with. So if you want to catch those big bass, I, I suggest getting a big tube to fish. And these just are the, the two and a half or the 2.75 inch. I usually go up to at least the three and a half or even the four inch tubes. Uh, but they do have the Strike King tubes. They have a lot of Strike King Senkos. They got the Rage Crawls. Oh, they actually do have some of the, the bigger tubes. Didn't even see these. Yeah, they got some of the white mimic a uh, bleeding shad. That's pretty cool. And I do have some of these right here. I just wish they had a uh, standard green pumpkin. I think it'd be awesome if they did. You got some of your scents down here. I don't really mess with the scents. I haven't gotten into, uh, you know, trying to spruce up my baits that much yet. Your Gary Yamamoto Senkos, the creator of the Senko. The 297 Green Pumpkin is uh, the best selling one of all time. I think, it, yep, 297 Green Pumpkin right there. These are awesome. For seven bucks, this is the best Senko that's out there because of the salt content and everything it's a little bit different uh, these do work really well especially if you're trying to rig one completely weightless let that sink down in front of the fish's face there that is really where the yamamoto ones shine uh, they got some tube jigs here i do not like these tube jigs once again i go on bass pros website and actually get the ones where i can fish them weedless these actually protrude out the side and you're gonna get snagged up a lot. So I kinda, I don't use those. And they do have some of these gets it tubes, which once again, they're a little bit too small for what I like. You could get by with these, they are the three and a half inch, but the body of these baits are a little bit too small. Okay, going down to these Strike King bulk bins right here. These, I love. I don't really mess with the toads or some of the Ned stuff that they have, but these jigs is really, is really what I like to, to buy every time I come in here. They got these swim jigs. They have the Bitsy Bug jigs, which I love. These are a small mouth killer right here. They usually have them in green pumpkin, watermelon red, and then also the black and blue. Another one I like for large mouth is these pro model jigs. And I usually will buy a ton of these, once again, in the green pumpkin or watermelon red and the black and blue. These are awesome for 250. You can't go wrong there. Got a bunch of the KVD stuff. We got the Lunker Hunt spiders, toads, all that. We got the KVD spinner baits, which I love. You got some buzz baits down there at the bottom. Bunch of jigs. Pretty good little selection here of uh, spinner baits. And you got a bunch of chatter baits. I don't really fish chatter baits that much. I think if I do get into fishing a chatterbait, I'll go with the jackhammer, try that out. I've got a bunch of jigs. You know, I love fishing jigs. This size right here, the little quarter ounce ones work very, very well for smallmouth. And then, hey, I've even caught some really big smallmouth on some of the bigger jigs. 
Uh, if you're just starting out and you really don't want to spend a lot of money and invest into something like the KVDs, definitely look at some of these Ozark trails. I have fished a lot of these Ozark trail square bills and they look just like a KVD. They have the same shape and everything, except these have rattles on the inside. Uh, but these really work well. I've caught a lot of bass on the, that one right there, the sexy shad square bill. And Ozark trail has some good stuff. They got anything from, you know, jerk baits, crank baits, they got some, they got some mini jerk baits there. They got some, what are they at? Right there, lipless crank baits, little rattle traps. Pretty cool. All the KVD crank baits and jerk baits down here at the bottom. I love all of these. They got some stuff from other companies as well. Six cents uh, has some. And then the Rapala stuff. I love Rapala. They have a lot of good stuff. Uh, very, very uh, geared at the river fishermen, I think, with a lot of this older stuff. You know, I remember fishing a lot of this as a kid. Some of these baits have been around for many, many years. And I think that's why it kind of brings me back to fishing on the river, just because my grandpa would always tie these on for me. And I really enjoyed fishing a lot of the Rapala stuff. He was a big fan of them. These X wraps right here are my favorite for smallmouth. And they are pricey. $10 for that one. Man, that is a perfect imitation of a shad right there. And then you got the black and uh, the silver ones right there. And I also fish one that looks like a, it's called a clown color. I don't see any today, um, but that is also a really, really good color. Fish some of these uh, rattle traps here. These are awesome, especially right now through the winter time. You can fish these, pop them off the bottom, kind of that yo-yo method. Uh, they do have some of these whopper ploppers i tend to stick with this smaller whopper plopper 90 either in this white and i don't know if they got the black it doesn't look like they have black but usually i'll stick to that and then the black one okay you're looking for crappie they got a bunch of little jig heads there they got awesome selection of stuff for crappie i'm not a big crappie fisherman i'll catch them from time to time on crankbaits and stuff uh, but that's about it don't really go out searching for the crappie they do have pretty good little selection here here in missouri crappie is a really sought after fish so i think that's one of the reasons uh, they got a bunch of trout stuff a lot of rooster tail inline spinners we'll be doing some trout fishing before you know it i like to get out to the trout park we'll probably do a lot of fly fishing but i'll, I'll also go out there and throw some power bait and things like that rooster tails we'll get on some got a good selection of the power baits so that is it we'll move around got some other little kits here so the boating section at this one is pretty pretty good you have a lot of the ropes and just some of your accessories and stuff anchors down here a little nice little mushroom anchor boat covers Got your light poles and stuff for your navigation lights, accessory paddles, some rod holders. That's pretty cool. Oh, Garmin Striker 4. We might actually purchase one of these one day and actually do a review on it. Pretty cool little depth finder. Got some trolling motors. And then you get the 30 pound thrust Enduro C2s. Cool. Then it's hunting stuff. We'll go down there. We'll show you the paddles and stuff with the kayaks here in a minute. Uh, I got some more of the catfish and stuff. A lot of times they'll have it separated like this. Um, bigger catfish rods. Pretty good little selection. The most expensive one here is 49 bucks right there. So pretty cool. Nice selection of the blood baits, uh, chicken liver. Some of those blood cat baits, which which do catch a lot of catfish. I love catching catfish on those blood baits. So fly fishing, not a huge fan of coming to Walmart and getting the fly fishing stuff. Uh, it's just not that great. But I do come here and get some of the tippet and stuff like that. I've also got some of these woolly buggers. I have some uh, pretty good selection of those. But they're not the greatest. I got some of them up here, the weighted ones. But it will get the job done. I got a nice little pouch down there. You could go ahead and throw some of your your midges, your woolly buggers, whatever in. 
Pretty cool little trout nets there. Got some fillet knives. I got a pretty good selection of fillet knives. We got a super tough looking ugly stick. This looks like this one's even got a gut hook on it. <laughs> so not necessarily a fishing knife, but it's a pretty beefy knife nonetheless. Some little uh, bait carriers down here. Keep your bait alive when you're out there fishing. Got some pretty cool little uh, aluminum pliers. We got some forceps, some uh, stuff to cut your braid with. Some fish scales. I need to get a new fish scale. We'll probably get one of these Berkleys maybe. Some rod socks. I need to pick up some rod socks too. So pretty good little accessories here. If you're looking to do a wacky rig or something, I got some wacky tools up here with some of the O-rings that you can get those rigged up with. Okay, over here, they have some more of the, the gloves. You know, if you're out there catching gar and things like that, they could really tear your hands up. These might be a good option for you. Got some electronic powered fillet knives. Pretty cool little selection of sunglasses here. Now, I've fished with a lot of these before, especially some of the Strike Kings, um, the Renegade glasses. The, the polarization on these are pretty good for, you know, under 20 bucks. So maybe you go out and look at some of these because if you've never fished with polarized glasses before, it's a night and day difference. It gets rid of the glare off the water and you can pretty much see through the water in a lot of cases if it's clear enough. Got some fishing, you got some nets up top there. Got a bunch of tackle boxes, ton of different tackle boxes. So if you're looking at new containers, just to put your baits in, they got a bunch of those. They got a bunch of the Ozark Trail, little bag style tackle boxes. They got a bunch of the hard tackle boxes up top there too. This isn't a huge selection of tackle boxes. I've seen a lot of Walmarts with a much larger selection. That's a pretty good sized tackle box down here. This would definitely get the job done. All right, we got one of my favorite sections right here, which is where you can pick out a reel and actually select your rod and everything. Doesn't look like they have a huge selection of rods or reels today, uh, but it looks like uh, they've got a lot of newer ones that I haven't really seen before. Another Lou's classic right there. So the combo, it might be a little bit different. I think the spool's a little bit different. But the combo is only 60 bucks with the rod. This one does have a different spool, but maybe it's just an updated version. But that one's 60 bucks itself. Pretty nice Xfinity reel right here. Very high quality. I do have this one. I haven't done a review on this one yet, but the Max Z. Very, very nice. I like the knobs on it. Looks like uh, Ozark Trail's coming out with some new baitcast stuff. Oh, it does have audible clicks. That's pretty cool. Nothing else too, too fancy stands out to me. You got some Xfinity reels down here. They got the Fluger President. We got another Max Z spinning reel here. And this isn't bad. I mean, for 40 bucks, it's definitely gonna do the job. You got a Laser Pro reel. And these are some of the smaller ones. I think this is like a 10 size or a thousand size. But if I was gonna get a bait caster reel, the most high quality one here is this Lose Reactor. Yeah, this one, pretty sweet reel, but it is 79 bucks. So you're paying, you know, high dollar price for that. Now, when it comes to terminal tackle, they, they do have quite a bit. They got a bunch of stuff over here, barrel swivels, all kinds of stuff, hooks for days from anything from catfish, panfish, trout, you name it. They have a lot of stuff, but if you're looking to bass fish and you're a beginner, I would definitely stick with some of these uh, extra wide gap hook, four alt hooks right here. Look at that, four bucks. You get 15 of these things and they're super thick too. These are the heavier wire ones. And you could go down to some of these Gamatsu. They got some of the three alt uh, and four alt. A little bit thinner wire hooks. You can get some must ads, but definitely look to get some of these if you're going to Texas rig or wacky rig some stuff. That's gonna be a good option for you. Uh, if you're going to be running that Texas rig, you're going to need some type of bullet weight. They do have all types of bullet weights. I usually stick to about a 3 16 ounce like this, even a quarter ounce if I'm really trying to get it down in the water quick. 
um, but they do have even half ounce. So if you're, it depends on uh, how fast you want the bait to get down in the water. And also, you know, what type of current you're fishing in. If you're doing river fishing, you're gonna need to get it down a little bit faster. And they have a lot of sinkers and other types of lead weights. Got the old bobbers. And they do have a bunch of fishing line. So anything from your, your very, very cheap monofilament down here to some of your more expensive, higher quality stuff. But usually what I run on all of my smallmouth rods is this 15 or 20 pound spider wire easy braid. And then I'll run this 10 or a 12 pound vanish by Berkeley fluorocarbon. This is 100% fluorocarbon, uh, very high quality, and it gets the job done for me. Uh, if I'm looking to just run straight fluorocarbon, I'll run straight uh, that Berkeley vanish. Some pretty cool stuff. They have pretty wide selection here. If you're looking at some good mono, you could always get some of this trialene, and that usually is gonna be just as good. Okay, they're kind of slim pickings on the rods, but they do have some stuff. They got some of these Shakespeare excursions. They're, they're not too bad for only 20 bucks. Moving into some of these Ozark Trail bait cast rods. That's pretty cool. Has a nice little reel seat on it. Now, if you're looking for high quality on a very low budget, this laser by Luz is a really good rod. 30 bucks, you're getting a pretty decent one piece rod. This is a spinning rod, but they do have the bait cast one right there. And you can see nice skeletal re reel seat on it. It's gonna give you a lot of sensitivity. It's pretty nice. They do have a lot of these ugly stick rods. And I'm gonna be doing a review on this GX2 rod, we did the combo. I wanna do a review just on the rod itself. And I did pick up the Ugly Stick Elite rod as well. And we're gonna do a comparison between those. This is a pretty nice little rod though, and it's bulletproof. But once again, it's about 42 bucks. Oh, they do have the Ugly Stick Elite bait caster. Nice looking big cast rod there but here's some of the more high quality stuff starting out with the, the shock the lightning rod shock by berkeley and you do have the lightning rod here that is a spinning rod when it comes to a more high quality bait cast rod at a budget price these are only 40 bucks for this hank parker casting rod with the skeletal real seat i am eight rod blank that's crazy one piece seven foot rod oh, that's a good rod for 40 bucks okay then you have the abu garcia vengeance these are pretty good rods too and they do come in a wide variety of powers they got your proficiency and your xfinity rods and for these Xfinities, they did give them a facelift. This one actually has cork, which is really awesome. I am eight rod blank. Wow, that is that is a good looking rod. But it is 80 bucks. So you're paying a high quality price for what you're getting there. So if you're looking to get a new paddle this year for your kayak, John boat, whatever, a pretty good selection here. 40 bucks for a super high quality fiberglass one. A bunch of different color selections of some of their ones with the aluminum shaft on it anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks pretty cool one right here the kayak angler paddle and you just have some of the ones that you might use for like a john boat or just a backup paddle pretty cool right there get some inflatable rafts down here it looks like an inflatable kayak oh wow they have the Tough tackle crate. That's pretty cool. Is that only on? Yeah, that's only 25 bucks right now. That's pretty cool. Comes with the two rod holders and everything. Wow. So that's pretty neat. I didn't know they actually had that one. But if you're going out kayaking, they got some of these fishing gloves. 30 bucks is a little pricey. But if you do have things that have tore up on your kayak over time, 
you can replace it, such as the handles, things like that. They got some uh, waterproof foam cases. They got some more of your Scotty mounts down here. Pretty cool. You got some of your scupper plugs, more pad eyes that you can replace. You got a paddle holder. Pretty good little selection. All right, guys, that's all we have for the fishing section today. Uh, so hopefully you got a good idea of what kind of Walmart has to offer as far as getting some good budget fishing gear. And if you're a beginner, trying to find, you know, baits and stuff, rods, and it's not getting too overwhelming. I know when I go to Bass Pro, it is so overwhelming. I can't even look for stuff, let alone find it. So, you know, fighting all the people, trying to get through those aisles, it's just a madhouse in there usually. So definitely come to Walmart here. I know it can get a madhouse too, but typically the fishing section is a little bit smaller and you can kind of find what you need and kind of forget about all that stuff you don't need. So if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and leave that like. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And guys, I'll catch you in those future videos.